And welcome back. The only football coach, head coach that Skyview has ever uh, had resigned this morning. And in typical fashion, Ron Lebsock, after three decades, still deflecting credit. It's not hard when you got kids that keep putting the, you know, coming back and lining up and, and, and giving their all. That's, that's what makes it. Rewind back to 1986, the first year students, teachers, and coaches set foot in the brand new Skyview High School. Well, that was a lot of fun. You know, we got to come up a couple times before that. Gary Rogers, of course, got us some field trips in, and uh, we got to see it as it was being built, several stages, and that was a lot of fun. Here's a look at football guys in the weight room. And remember, Skyview started its program in 1985. They had first played a Class B schedule. Then in 86, just got beat up playing a double-A varsity schedule with only sophomores and juniors. 1987, the Falcons won their first double-A game. Here's Lebsock that year prior to facing Missoula Big Sky. You're always going to find that, that uh, they play very good defense. They're a very tough defensive ball club. Uh, they do have some weaknesses, and we're going to try to exploit. It took exactly a decade for the Falcons to win their first state double-A title. Here's how it looked in 1995 when Skyview rallied from a 14-zip deficit to beat Bozeman 27-20 at Dallas. You know, we got to the stadium, and the place was packed, you know. Of course, before we went to the stadium, there was Scott Breen down here in our, in our, in our hallway. <laughs> But I, I'm trying to get yeah. the kids focused. You're down there with all these kids we're lined up yeah, for a live shot. I think, oh, jeez, I hope, hope everything comes out of this okay. Even more rewarding through Leb Sox years, the opportunity to coach all five of his sons at Skyview. Chris, Nick, Sean, Matt, and Connor. And, of course, his wife, Barty, has been the glue. Carrying this around all day long. <laughs> Yeah, God blessed me with a great one there. She's put up with a lot and, you know, 38 years of, of this. And finally, I can spend more time with her. The other piece to his puzzle, assistant coach and current police chief, Rich St. John. He's been with Lebsock every step of the way. The guy Lebsock says was his first phone call when he earned the head coaching job at Skyview. The Falcons' next championship arrived here in 2003 after a wild Halloween night when all four top seeds were eliminated in the playoffs. Skyview met senior in this crosstown championship showdown, standing room only at Dallas, where the Falcons won another thriller, 35-28. It was anybody's game to win. I'll tell you what, they played a great game. You know, senior high did. We were fortunate to get back into the game after they jumped all over us. And, and, uh, but but it's, a, it's a tribute to these kids, you know, a feather in their hat, how, how hard they played and how well they stick with everything that we do. Chris Murdoch didn't play in that game, but he did quarterback senior against Lebers and the Falcons, and he spent the last several years coaching against him. His first goal is to just mentor young men, and he's done that. You know, he did that for me when I was a player, and he was, he was a guy that was always encouraging me to go on and play college football, and, and he was all the way up in the heights, and I was down here at senior playing, and, and he took the time to do that. And then as a coach, he was, you know, he mentored me and cared about me as a person. I think that's what ultimately keeps you in the profession as long as he's been in it is he just has such strong character and he's not in it for himself at all. He's in it to help other people.